All right, this one's a bit of a tricky question in that you could, well, let me just walk you through this. You've got a, a, a hard disk and it's got an acceleration, uh, angular acceleration of 190 rads per second, right? And we've got an angular ex, uh, velocity, but it's a final velocity, I'll call it W2, of 7,000, what is it, 200, and rot I'm gonna ro rotations per minute. And I've gotta convert these to like units. So I'm in rads per second, so I'm gonna say that um, there is one rotation, right, in two pi radians, right? And I gotta get the minutes to seconds. I can say one minute is 60 seconds. So calculator, 7,200 times two times pi divide 60 gives me 754, and that will be in rads per second. So I've got these numbers here, and that's gonna help me. And let's also make a note here that W1 for all intended purposes is zero, right? Because we're gonna be using some equations. Now, you might be tempted to just use, if you think of the equations, this is gonna be the, you know, this is the radians or which the re revolutions. De uh, theta two is theta one plus W1t plus one-half sigma t squared. And if you're just trying to solve for this, you'd say, well, I know that theta, or uh, sigma, or alpha, whatever that is, alpha is 190 right here, and I could just plug that in, and I got this 10-second thing, and I could just solve the problem. But that's going to assume that it accelerates the whole time, because there's also this equation, and that's W2 is W1, plus sigma t. So watch what happens when we say w2, this is 754 equals zero, because the initial alpha, or uh, the, uh, w, or uh, row one is zero, plus, now I know this here is 190, and that's t. Now let's see what happens if I solve for t. Well, it turns out t here is 4.0 seconds. Now, that means it's only going to accelerate for four of its 10 seconds. So this is a problem where you have two different uh, segments that you have to deal with, if that makes sense. So we have the acceleration stage, where we're going to use this equation here, and we're going to use this equation twice, uh, and we're going to use the acceleration, but then the second segment, it's going to be moving at a constant speed. It speeds up to 7,200, that means that then the second stage is at constant speed. So what you're gonna have to do is you'll do theta two equals zero plus zero t, w one is zero, plus one half times 190. Now watch how to do, I don't say 10 seconds, but four seconds squared because it's only going to accelerate for four seconds. So 0 0.5 times 190 times 4 squared gives me 100, I didn't do that right, 0 0.5 times 190, I said 19 there, times 4 squared gives me 1,520 rads. But that's for the first segment. Then I'm going to have to do theta 2 equals zero, this is for the second segment, for the six seconds remaining, plus, but now the W1 right here, its speed has sped up to 754. So 754 times six, the six remaining seconds, plus zero, because this last term right here, it's not accelerating. And so this comes out to seven, 754 times 6. That adds up to 4,524 radians. How many radians? You will add these numbers up. Then you will have to convert to revolutions, knowing, of course, that one revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. So that, my friends, is how you solve the problem.